A crew will normally remain with a casualty. However, there will be times when this is not possible. This video demonstrates the procedures that MRT commanders employ to conduct a repair recovery request to a casualty without its crew. Only the procedures conducted at the casualty site will be demonstrated. In this scenario, 88 Charlie is the call sign conducting the task, and 88 Bravo will provide security. Mission, threat level, and available resources will determine if a security escort is provided. Prior to the crew being dispatched, the CP must provide the MRT commander with all relevant details concerning the location and state of vehicles, equipment, and whether the area has been cleared of threats. On arrival at the casualty site, the MRT stops 100 meters short of the casualty and adopts a tactical posture. At night, the MRT will stop 50 meters short. The MRT commander and escort commander from the security element approach the casualty site on foot, conducting a cloverleaf search pattern around the casualty. It is the MRT commander's responsibility to have any threats at the casualty site identified to avoid exposing crew and equipment to them. Once satisfied the casualty site is clear of any threats, the MRT commander relocates the MRT to best effect the repairs and provides concealment for the MRT and additional elements according to local SOPs. In order to provide cover for the MRT crew, the MRT commander positions security elements and assigns them arcs of fire. The MRT commander sends notice of arrival to the CP. 8, this is 8A Charlie. Raptor over. 8, Raptor out. If the casualty is unattended, and repairs are conducted, there will be a plan to retrieve the casualty if it is not in a secure location. In this scenario, the unit responsible for the casualty has sent a crew to collect the vehicle once the repair has been completed. The MRT commander notifies the CP that the repair team is departing the casualty's location. This is 88 Charlie. Turbine over. 8 Turbine out. The MRT commander and crew conduct a tactical road move on return to the hide. Immediately after returning to the hide, the MRT commander reports to the CP and debriefs the duty officer. Meanwhile, the MRT crew readies their vehicles for future tasks.